Hello, welcome to Econometrics Melody. This is the eighth video on miscellaneous series in Stata. In miscellaneous series in Stata, we'll cover some of the basic general and handy topics in Stata. It will be more of a practical session. This tutorial is about simple programs. We're going to write simple programs. Let's begin. Let us capture any program by the name AAA and we're going to drop that. And let us execute this. Now we're going to write a program by the very name AAA. So we write this command program AAA and this is our class going to be our class our class is the written written or result class and there are other classes as well like e class estimate is estimate class and then yes class and yen class what will focus on our class and what is our program going to do our program is going to take the arguments two arguments a and b and we're going to take two numbers actually and we're to find or display which number is greater or is smaller so let us write this relationship of this condition if a and we are taking a reference of the above number by writing in this way so whatever number is here we are taking the same reference and if a is less than b what are we going to write we are going to write the number that particular number a is less than we are going to display and we are going to write the same thing we are going to display and let us this should be a string so we are referencing it under the string a string as well a is less than and then we're going to write b and let us copy this quickly and give other condition so if a is exactly equal to b then we're going to write a is equal to b so it equal to b and the third condition and let us right if a is greater than b we are going to display a is greater than b it's that simple greater than b here it should be a is equal to b and we're going to end this let us end this program and so here is the beginning of the program so while writing in do file we'll have to run all this entire loop actually beginning from program to end so let us run this our program is ready i guess so let us execute some and let us test it so we want to display which number is greater than the other greater less or equal to other so let us write a and try one and two we have supplied two arguments one and two so one is less than two it's fine and let us uh raise the position of these numbers and check it for ourselves two is greater than one this is again fine now let us write exactly equal numbers what happens this is fine and let us try if we provide here missing so what does it how does it this program treat who is less than this so in this data the missing value is treated as a greater greater number i guess so let us switch their position and what happens this is greater let's write any both greater number so which is greater whether the missing number is greater or this number is greater in this data again this is greater now let us write another program again we'll write the program named b triple b so let us again capture program program and we're going to be our grm program and we're going to drop if the program is named by b b b and we're writing a program let's begin it so it's program but this is the name and it is again our class and uh, we are going to use this use auto this data and then we are going to let us summarize and we will uh, or describe and then again summarize and we'll know the what are the variables and let us also run regress -E -E so regression we'll run a regression of the price and mpg there are the variables named price and mpg exist in this data auto and then weight also probably weigst weight and let us run the scatter graph of this the same variables and let us in the program and let us see where we'll be able to run this or not possible here we have not specified any arguments Simply our program will call 
the auto data and describe all the variables summarize all of them runner regression and runner scatter plot so let us uh, select programs from beginning to the end now it's fine let us see whether it will run or we are going to execute it b b b so it's running yes this is the first command that we have said is about describing of the variables so this is the description these are the number of variables and the second one is about summarize we are going to see the summary table of these variables followed by okay now entire after summary there was a regression and a scatter plot so this is the scatter plus if i close it we'll get the regression result this is the regression result and this is the practice of a program we are actually learning to write a program a very simple program indeed this is to draw the interest about program so here are other two examples that i have used actually in my previous tutorials of graphic series in this data let me clear whatever is in the data memory so let us capture the program and drop the program name by em and let me run this program all the way to end where is that end so this is the em so what does it do it takes the help of two scatter plot and it will change the color or region of the scatter plot and Econometrics you know, melody will be displayed. So here, if this condition is fulfilled, econometrics you know, will be displayed, and for the other condition, melody will be displayed, and we have manipulated their symbol as well as their color, yum yen p. So we have given a different or try to give a different random colors, yum yen p. So these are the colors, and let us see its result. You can pause the video and you can see these codes. And let me run the program called EM and we will see this result. Econometrics and a melody will be displayed alternatively, probably. So this is the result. If it is greater than zero, it means for odd numbers we are going to display this, and for even number we are going to display a melody. The simple program. Now let us see another program that which also I have used in my tutorial in the graphic series. So this is about thanking. Let me clear everything of the data in the memory and let us capture the program named by TU that is thank you and drop it. And let us write the program. It is again the R class program. And here is the explanation i have written a for loop so what does this do and we have run it actually so what does this do so these values from 225 this nop this is going to help us change the color and key local key and l we are going to change the width of this scatter outer out outline the marker line width this is the outer width we are giving it the value of i and what is the value of i i is 1 to 15 so the maximum width is 15 so please take your time in understanding this this is it for this tutorial thank you very much for your time thank you very much econometrics melody